Oh, I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be trying to go get some snook again. Been trying here the last couple weekends and it ain't working out too hot. Uh, they haven't been running, I guess, as good down here where I'm at. So we've been hearing good news from local bait shops that all the snook are running in Stewart, where they're starting to hit some, uh, some slots and some bigger than slots, which I'm hoping to get a slot, but anything would be fantastic. So right now I got to turn on the ice machine pack the truck uh, and uh, I guess uh, we'll see you tomorrow. If you're from Florida you might want to check your ice machines for uh, dead lizards and leaves. like that pretty much packed tomorrow morning before I go to work I'm gonna pack that cooler full of ice get some, uh, some ice on there go get some bait from the bait shop and then we'll be on our way see you then Rod. You gotta get your snook rod. How many how many fish have been caught on that thing? Oh, can't even count. <laughs> take that one. That's one. I'm gonna take the big bubble rod this one. You need this one for that. All old school, still good. Oh, yeah. Monster snook catching one. I got my tackle box. Tackle box? The one that smells like dead shrimp? Oh, the one that your daughter broke. Uh oh uh, yeah. It's easy open because there's no latch anymore. It's just boom, easy open. That's perfect. Just don't try to pick it up like I did a bunch of times. <laughs> Everything gets dumped out. We built 2,000 hand-picked shrimp and two live croakers. Jumbo's Jupiter Bait Shop, if you haven't even been there or heard of it, it's actually really good for hand picks. Like, uh, there's another place we go down in Boynton that we've been to that they don't even do hand picks and they got some small shrimp. But if you want as big as your hand. Yeah, you want some big, big shrimp, Jupiter Bait Shop's definitely got the shrimp. Yeah, big shrimp, evil big snake. Yeah, so that's where we're headed right now from uh, Jupiter Bait Shop up to Stewart to a secret location we will not give away. But uh, we're basically going to be running these live shrimp. We're gonna try out some croakers if they start hitting. Uh, probably around 11 is when uh, high tide is fully in, so we'll probably wait to see once it starts rolling out what's going on. Uh, maybe, we'll see if we don't catch anything before then. Because okay. you never you never really know when they're gonna hit. But we're gonna do that, probably do some free lining. I, I don't even think we're gonna have weights. It's gonna, no be, weights. gonna be free lining those things. And uh, but where we're going is actually pretty good because it's a low-lying bridge because we don't have a boat, which we would love a boat, but we don't. So we're bridge fishing right now. And uh, on one side of the bridge, there's going to be another bridge, and then there's a marina in the area. Uh, I believe the bridge we're going to has spotlights. is definitely something that you want with the street lights that, that add that uh, the illumination, I guess you could say, where there's a light line from light to dark, and the snook like to hide... Uh, in the darkness and watch you know crustaceans little bait fish all that stuff swim by uh, from that light to dark and that's when they hit so in theory 
Theory should work. You got a little it's baby a little snook. Jerk. Look at that little sucker, huh? Yeah. Not too bad. Nope. We Not need the either, mama. But he's beautiful. All right. Okay, we need Let's that go mama. Get the mama. that last night you know uh, it's pretty long pretty long somewhat uneventful night last night uh, at the spot the spot we ended up going to was a really nice spot but uh, the tides just weren't exactly right I, I don't know if I've already mentioned it but uh, high tide was at 11 and it, it was I mean the current was ripping here so uh, as it was coming in, obviously it's not the best time, but uh, you know we ended up ended up getting one, one pretty is we didn't even measure it because it was just it wasn't even a slot, so it didn't even matter. But probably about 20, 20, 21, low twenties is had to have been what it was, and then nobody else around there that whole night we were out there, and we were out there till uh, out there till about midnight. And nobody else pulled in a snug. So I, I, I just don't know if they were fixing to come in there when uh, when tide started to go out or, or what was going on. But there's tons of cats that were coming in. And uh, we had a, a buddy of mine get a rockfish. I'll go ahead and put the pictures in here so you can see a uh, picture. I caught a catfish, didn't get a picture of it, but uh, didn't, didn't really worry about it. Um, and I, I don't even know the layout of this. Uh, underneath the bridge was weird because you throw the line in and it, it just it wasn't it didn't seem to be deep so I ended up catching my snook by throwing my shrimp which all I was running was a leader with uh, a little crimp weight on it to kind of bring it down a little bit and threw it over and it was running running this fast moving tide straight through and kept doing that along the edge of the uh, uh, you, you see in the video on the edge of the uh, the railway, which went down, I, I don't know, four feet. I think there's a ledge because it ended up taking the shrimp, hit it, took it, went down and kind of under where I had to pull it out a little bit. But uh, the fight was it was it was a pretty small fight because he was right there. But yeah, we spent most of the night just doing the same thing, casting up and down that whole breezeway there, and. Uh, it was nothing. It was pretty dead, dead night. But um, yeah, uh, what what can you do? You go out sometimes, and and it's like that. You know, we we were out a couple weekends ago, and it's the same thing. You just bunch of snapper catching, and uh, that that's it. You know, we did run the croaker uh, at at like right before high tide. We we started putting them croakers on. And we had we had two croakers, so. Uh, nothing nothing from those not even a hit but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll stick around for some more we'll see uh, we'll see if we can get some more content going on uh, we do some fishing we do hunting and it's not close to hunting season but uh, when it when it comes time we'll go ahead and we'll try to get some content up to that so stick around see some more thank you <laughs>